Hello guys, welcome to another short video in this React series. This is a continuation of my previous video on React Date Picker. If you have not watched that, please feel free to go back and watch that video. I have provided the link for that video in the description as well. In the previous video, we have added a calendar in our React.js application. In this video, let's learn to highlight some of the important dates of this date picker. For that one, let me open the code editor first. Here we have a code for our date picker. We have used the date picker element in our application. Here first thing we need to do is define an array of important dates which will contain the date which need to be highlighted in our date picker. For that one let me scroll up and let me define an array here by name important dates. Currently I have added three dates here. The format of these dates is month, date and then year. Next let's add a function by name highlight important dates. This function will accept dates and it checks whether it is there in the important dates array or not by using the includes method here. If it is true, that indicates that that date should be highlighted. Here we have converted the standard date to local date by using to local date string. If you don't want to convert that one to local date, you can omit this one. Then the final step which we need to do is we need to update the date picker element. Here we need to add another property by name highlight dates. Let me add a property here by name highlight dates. Here it uses the important dates array and it maps or iterates through this important dates which we have defined here and whatever the dates which need to be highlighted those dates will be highlighted in this date picker component. That's it now save the file and go back to browser to preview the application. Now you can observe the date is highlighted with green color here. If you go to next month, there is another important date which we have added that is also highlighted with green color. Similarly, another date which we have added in December that is also highlighted here. Along with these highlighters, you can add some common text at the top such as highlighted dates are holidays or highlighted dates are training dates. Somewhat based on your requirement, you can give some information about these dates. So let me go back to code editor and add one information text to the users. Here after this header one, I will add one paragraph by name highlighted dates or holidays. If you save this one and go back to browser, now we got that information message or text which will be shown to the user as well. So this is one of the additional useful feature which we can add in our date picker or calendar. That's it guys for this video. Thanks for watching this. If you have any questions or want to see more tutorials like this, please let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more coding tutorials.